What is up, folks? It is Sunday evening, and I've been working on this thing all day. Finally finished, though, so here's what I got. I will start on this side. Got this corner planted up with the valve, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, there is a lot of open sand back there, which will be good for the quarries and the other stuff. Uh, I may fill in a little bit more valve, but I'm going to keep that back area kind of open like it is right there. Um, you can see I got a ton of Ritala Indica just planted up all up around here on this side. And it's actually probably pretty close to half the, the back of the tank. Um, just made a little cubby for the filter intake there. And uh, yeah, it's going to grow in. I'm, I'm actually really excited to see what this does. Uh, got some red Crip Wenty right, uh, right there. And I have another one on this side. Bam! Gonna probably get two or three more and just kind of fill in this little section all with red Crip Wenty. Um, that'll look real nice. Kind of just right up under in here. And then I have the Crip Undulata in this little kind of hole tucked in between. Um, I kind of wanted some green in between, in between this, uh, you know, this big large piece of wood and, and this other piece of wood to kind of differentiate the two and kind of create the depth. So that went there. Um, got a matted java fern that just kind of like wedged in there. And that'll take over this whole little kind of area right here. Um, but this wood will still be in front of it, kind of once again breaking up the the brown with some green behind it so it kind of interrupts all the wood and you can kind of make out the different little spires um, better. I got a couple pieces of good old standby Crip Parva. I got some there. Got this pearl weed. Never had it before but I'm gonna give it a shot. At least I think it's pearl weed or baby tears or something. I don't know. Um, got a little bit more of it here and a little bit more Parva. And what I'm going to do is just kind of clip this and kind of, I'll probably bring it up right to about here and kind of fill in this little area here and kind of bring it up to here. So, I don't know, I do want to leave a little bit of open sand in the front um, and I do want to leave this open. You know, the ground cover plant won't be so bad. I like these little, like, sand alleyways that are kind of kind of here and there in the tank. I think that'll be a nice effect once there's fish in there. So that's what's up. 35-gallon rimless, done for now. Uh, maybe in about a month I'll, I'll have a little more extra coin and then get a few more plants in here. But that's about it. So comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. And uh, look forward to seeing how this tank develops. Thanks for watching.